So if you see in this video, just know that I had to redo this video, this voiceover, because the music in the background was a copyright issue, but it is absolutely okay. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys soon. Okay, so this is me just parting my hair because your girl about to get into her skincare routine for her everyday self-care um, living and... Uh, what I like to do is to start, um, I actually just got out the shower, so I'm just going to put my hair in two buns. Um, this is the Cantu Natural Hair Curl Activator. Um, I think that's what it says. It's just that something's in front of it. But um, yeah, either way, that is the Cantu Curl Activator. And um, now I'm just brushing my hair up. These buns are probably not going to look as good as they should, but um, bump it. I'm going to just do what I need to do because at this point, hey, I ain't going nowhere with this. I'm just literally just going to be washing my hair. I typically would take some time to really do my hair if I actually was going out, but I'm not. So this is the buns. Yes, girl. Mm-hmm. Cute. So yeah, so I go ahead and I spray some more of that stuff. I don't even know if I'm using this stuff right. I just like the way it smells and then I just brush my hair. Um, I already did my detangling in the shower when I conditioned it. But um, yeah, so I'm about to put another bun in my head and yeah, girl, it's happening. Mm -hmm. Get that bun in, get that bun in. It looks like this bun is about to be uneven. I can really tell, honey. Oh, child. But don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. That's, yeah, very uneven. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, God. Very uneven. <laughs> and now we're going to put on my, my little towel protection, my little headband. I forgot what they call these things, but this is like my facial headband. It's like super cute. It's cheetah. It's so cute. Oh, my God. Look how cute it is. Uh, yeah. So um, now I'm just kind of adjusting myself some, you know, because I got my little robe on. But now I'm about to get into my skincare routine. So um, I am grabbing my Fenty bar, my Fenty skin bar, and it is the Cocoa bar. Look at it. It's round. This thing is just so, so good, y'all. Like, I did not expect for this to really be as good as it was. Like, I remember watching a, um, a YouTube self-care routine from... Lee, Lee. Oh, it look like I'm doing something. I'm probably trying to get my playlist together because first of all, I didn't even start my playlist. But anyway, so Lee, Lee, I seen that she did this routine with this Fenty bar, and I was like, you know what, girl? Um, uh, yeah, it's happening. I have to go, and I ran to Fenty. I ran re upped on some stuff, and I got this bar. And let me tell y'all something. This bar is so lathering. Like, just wait as you watch me do this. It is just. So freaking lathering. Ugh. And it feels so good on the skin. The smell, the smell is not like like it's just it's a natural skin soap smell. Like it's it's got a little cocoa smell to it, but it also is just it's soap. Like it's skin soap. So it's not really and I don't like my stuff to be smelling super sweet or super anything because that makes me feel like there is not um natural ingredients in it, and that's what makes me start feeling like blue. But I'm going to start using my hands because as you lather it in, look at that. Look at how it's lathering. Like, oh, uh, look at that. Look at that. Scrubbing it in. Scrubbing it in. And look, I love how it's just foaming up. Like, I just, it, it's just creating more. It's creating more. And I love that for me. Like, I love that for me. It's amazing. Yes, girl. Mm -hmm. Get into that forehead because it seems like my forehead, especially like, I don't know if it's the season change, but like these little pimples and stuff been coming to my forehead, but I be trying to like make sure that I get that together. So, you know, got to really focus on that part. You see me? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Getting it all in. Get in it all in. So, yeah. So, just really, really just making sure that it's all lather in, feeling good. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That look like it feels so good yeah so i like to just show you guys kind of what i do because i feel like people usually skip past this part but you should just really see like how i really go about really washing my face um it may be soothing to you to watch because right now i'm really enjoying this <laughs> so yeah 
that is what I do. That is what is going on here. Yes, girl, get all up in that skin. So now I'm going to go about grabbing my cloth. I got this special little cloth that I'm using for this routine to be able to take it off. Look at me checking myself out. As you can see, it is lathering in. It looks like all those ingredients is just seeping into my pores. Yes, so it can get better so I can get that glow. So you see here, I'm using my little special rag that is helping to get all that stuff off because it is just going to make my skin feel so much more better. I'm not rubbing too hard. But I'm also making sure all of it is off, all of it. Like, so I could go on to the next part of the skincare. Yes, I'm getting all every spot. Because, you know, you ever notice when you go around, you're like, dang, I missed the spot. But no, I'm making sure I get every single thing off. So, super excited about that. So, yeah, now getting them lips. Because what I'm about to do is go in and exfoliate my lips. So, yes, definitely, definitely getting it all prepped and ready so yeah yep done that did that mm, look at me Ooh, checking myself out you go girl mm -hmm, little bitty bop now i'm fanning my face because you know you gotta just make sure you fan your face for any next steps because you don't want it to be too moistured when you're applying your next phase which for me is going to be the mask but right now i decide i was like hmm, hmm since i already started with my lips let me exfoliate it so i get it went into my little cabinet and I keep everything pretty much right next to each other. So um, I got my little Nicole Miller Raspberry Lip Scrub in Girls. Girls, girls, girls. I will try to link everything in the description below of what I use. Because some of the stuff I cannot pronounce. And um, yeah, I don't want to be butchering names and stuff like that. But because um, this is one product that I use that I do not know how to pronounce it. I'm not going to butcher it, but I'm going to put it down below. But um, yeah, I put my scrub on my lips. It always looks funny putting your lip scrub. People say you could just use brown sugar and you could just use water and brown sugar. Why are you using that? And girl, listen, me, I'm, I'm a product junkie when it comes to the skincare. So any little trinkets and stuff I see, especially when it is on sale, I am grabbing it. I'm grabbing it. I'm going to try it. I am going to be my own guinea pig. I love trying things. Um, only thing I really don't super play with is the product junkie for hair because I have my specific hair routine and one day I can go through that with you guys. But right now we focus on the skin. So you see me in my special rag. Make sure I rinse all the other stuff off. But I am now using my rag to really circle around my lips to get any type of residue or anything because I know you girls know when you wear that lip gloss and that white foam you know vibe stuff whatever it is come up on your lips it is just not cute so yeah me i really do enjoy having some really beautiful lips and especially since my lips are a decent size i like to make sure that i have very beautiful kissable lips and um yeah just very luscious and beautiful and so now i am going into the next steps and my next steps is going to be to apply my mask and um in any second i hope i will show you guys this mask i guess i'm getting it ready yes it is the kills yes kills go kills kills turmeric cranberry and turmeric mask i love this mask it is so amazing i kind of like swear by it and i'm just gonna sit and i'm gonna apply this on and yeah i put some on the back of my hand because you know i just sometimes don't want to double dip even though it is mine but the, um brush that i'm using i just want to make sure that um with that brush like i just kind of just for this video purposes i just want it to be all professional so um i am now using my brush i am swiping up this brush y'all is not the correct brush for this particular product um i would typically use a silicone brush but i had um did a revamp on my brushes and stuff so i forgot to re-up on my silicone brushes so um yeah, just know that it will probably be more helpful for you to either maybe use your hand or um, using a silicone brush if you really are more into using brushes. But um, this brush here, it, it is a little more harder to 
apply it but it's not that hard if it's the only brush you got um don't feel like you cannot use it it, it, it still worked but it is a little more harder than actually using the silicone brush but um yeah so what i'm gonna do is make sure i'm covering my whole face and look i'm in the camera giving y'all the business honey and i i'd be trying to catch every spot you know and swiping up because um i used to be in um aesthetic school and they definitely told me like one thing i did learn is like when you are applying your mask and applying it to a patient's well a client's face you're supposed to apply it and swipe up because you know you don't want to start dragging the skin so yes 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 getting on that nose don't want to miss my nose because i really feel like i haven't really exfoliated lately and the one thing about this mask is that it is pretty much like a good it's a mask it serves as a mask a brightening mask because i have some dark spots that i'm trying to correct and it also serves as an exfoliant but today i'm using it more so as a mask because um more so i'm just going to focus on exfoliant once i dry it well take it off but um really just to help with the brightening and stuff so i'm just going to go ahead and apply this and yeah just yeah you guys can watch me apply the rest yeah i can keep talking but you know i'm just gonna let y'all watch this giving it to y'all mm -hmm. yes girl i'm showing you how to cover every single spot of your face honey and yes this is giving full mask energy yes yes love look at that mm -hmm. make sure i use every bit of that product i know i said i was gonna be quiet but i can't because i'm just sitting i'm enjoying this so yeah i'm using every bit of the product that's on the back of my hand and i'm just making sure i guess i even it out so that everything is fully covered and that i am getting it all getting it all in the crevices crevices is really one of my favorite words it's just so awkward but it's such a funny word so there, guys, um, I am going to wash my brush off and, yep, and give it some time. Okay, so I just finished doing the cleanse, my exfoliant for my lips, and um, this mask, um, I probably already voiced it in the voiceover, but... Um, it is my Kills Turmeric, um, Cranberry Turmeric Mask. I really, really love this. I like literally like, swear by it. I don't know. It just works for me and my skin. Um, I was introduced to it when I worked for L'Oreal. And listen, ever since I was introduced to it, it's just been my go-to. Um, so yeah, like, so I'm just letting this mask sit for like about 10 to 15 minutes. And I thought, hey, this would be great starting point to just do a little quick chit chat it won't be long but um i know that from my last video it was more of a are you getting over a breakup and like just going through this journey together please i'm just noticing that the mask is uneven i didn't have the right brush today for this particular mask but um have to do the um, order more so no don't pay attention to that but um really um just discussing the fact of like you know are you in a breakup and just like how that feels and just telling you that we're on this journey together because hey it's getting back to yourself getting back to that love and just um this is one of the things that i love to do um to make myself feel better um taking care of my skin taking care of myself taking my even though i work from home i take my daily showers in the morning and the night like so i really do like to do that because it just really makes me feel good um i see it fully dressed even if i'm not going to be on camera i just want to just get myself ready for the day like i'm currently right now on crutches so i can't really do too much right now i can't really be as mobile as i would like because i'll probably go out and take a walk or grab me a coffee or something like that but as of right now um it seems like in the season God is asking me to sit still, um, so I am on crutches, and so I just have to be less mobile, which I don't have a problem with because thank God for Amazon Fresh and Uber Eats because, yeah, okay, because I, I ain't gonna starve. But um, um, overall, um, it's just really, really important to just take care of yourself. So um, that's what I do. I just 
take care of my skin i take care of my hair i just wash my hair as you can see my buns was rubby uneven <laughs> i try to put them up in like two but they're uneven right now but um i washed my hair in the shower i did a conditioner because i already washed it two weeks ago and i don't like to do too much um washing of my hair i like to just condition it sometimes it's like a whole thing behind it. it's like a science or something like that but it's just what works for my hair though um but yeah um it's just like what i was saying like you guys just uh this is the time this is the time like i know this heartbreak and this breakup is very hard and there's times like i'm not gonna lie to you guys crying in the shower and it's okay because you don't even have that little movie scene moment where you hear jokes okay okay Okay. but um it's okay it's okay remember what i said in my last video you'll be okay just um feel those emotions feel what you're feeling be honest with that emotion um if you feel that teardrop coming down and hey you know let it out like let it out there's no judgment zone especially when you're alone there's no judgment zone there is a, this is a judgment free zone if you want to cry right now in the middle of this conversation go ahead because at the end of the day like i said this is a no judgment free zone yeah judgment free zone yeah um so yeah it's um it's so it's been now you know kind of like a journey and this journey has been very interesting for me like it's really been interesting and um i'm making some really big grand decisions um and uh, just trying to hear the voice of the spirit and letting the spirit lead me and letting god lead me into my next steps my next move in my next direction um because like i know for sure right now like i'm not like ready to be in the dating life like maybe some people are but i know for me i'm just not right now like i just want to really focus on loving myself like i want to fall so deeply and immensely love myself like it's just like like unbothered and not unbothered to the toxic way like just unbothered or just like anything like i just know for myself i'm just not ready um and everybody is different like i said everybody's different you have your way of how you might get over things and the time you may need but um just be real with yourself in that moment and be real with it all so yeah but um i told you guys this is going to be a really quick chit chat nothing too major um yeah this mask is starting to get really tight but um i just wanted to get through that message like just love upon yourself and just to remind you guys we're in this journey together do something to love upon yourself do something to make you feel good if you are may able to be mobile maybe go take a walk if you got a dog take your dog for a walk i'm sure your pup will love it um just do something hey if you got a cat and you like to walk your cat Go walk your cat. Um, but um, just do something to love up on yourself today. This is your gentle reminder. And if it looks like this, where you're going to do yourself a facial, um, do yourself a facial. It really feels great. It feels good. Um, yeah. I know my skin's going to feel so amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see the end of my So I'll be back. Okay guys, so I am back, I am back, I am back, and I am taking off this mask. Um, I'm using my special cloth again to get the mask off, so I am just removing that mask. Just, yes, taking it all off my skin, make sure I get every spot. And the good thing is about this cloth that I'm using, especially with this type of mask, the mask has a particular type of bead inside of it. And um, I would just recommend you going in to read the ingredients and just making sure, you know, you won't, um, you're not allergic to any of these ingredients, anything. But um, this message is super, super amazing. And it has like a, a natural exfoliant inside of it. So as I'm wiping my face, it is also exfoliating at the same time with those little beads. And I'm just making sure I get every single bit of it off and it's just starting to feel so great because like this cranberry turmeric mask tingles a little bit and i think it's the turmeric that does it and it's just like wow this is great and i think those little beads are actually the cranberry so yeah but um i'm just taking everything off and yeah guys it's coming off yeah sometimes this thing is like 
you know, this mask got start hardening and you got to really try to figure it out. But um, I kept it on for 10 to 15 minutes. I think I kept it on for 15. But um, yeah, I'm now just like really completely removing it so I could go on into my next steps and getting ready for my day. I just love the glow. Look at it already. Just look at it. Look at the skin, honey. Look at the skin. It's it just looks like a baby's bottom. I could just only imagine it feels like one. But see, on the side there, I'm just trying to get um, rid of those dark spots over there. So it has been lightening. So I'm just really using this um, this mask so that I can be able to brighten it. So yes, I'm giving you guys a little piece. Mm, look at me. Mm, yes, I'm serving for the face gods. Okay, honey. So yes, I look at me. Oh, God. I, I just don't know when to stop. Look at it. Okay, I just they probably needed a little more heat to the face, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm a character. But okay, yes, giving you guys what you need to give for this face routine. So yes, yeah, so now um, what I am most likely am going to do now is fan my face. Because of course, I told you guys I like my face to be completely dry before I apply another product. And my next steps is going to be my toner. It is my Fenty Skin Fatty Water, and it is amazing. It's like a milk base. Um, I told you guys I will be adding everything in the description below. And if I haven't mentioned yet, please like, comment, and subscribe, please. But yeah, but I just what I recently just showed y'all was the size, the amount that I put on my um my um hands because. A little goes a long way with these um, products. You don't want to just be over aggressively using it because it's just, it just little goes a long way. So I put that dime size amount and it is like, it covers the whole face. And look at that. It, she is glowing. I am patting it into the skin as the toner and just, the, just patting it, patting through, patting it all over, patting it. Yes. And it actually smells good. This smells good. The fatty water smells like a really really like pleasant smell it's not too aggressive and strong it smells like a nice scent so of course here i am again there goes the fan the hand fan natural hand fan and then i'm gonna go in with the what the fenty skin hydro visor so this serves as a moisturizer plus sunscreen this one is the refillable one so you can go to your local sephora or ultra ulta or you know, wherever or online at Fenty.com, FentySkin.com, and you can get yourself some of this. And you can only just focus on um actually buying the base. The first time you're buying it, you will have to buy the, the the whole kit. But then after, you can just buy the refill if you're getting the refillable case. So um that's always a plus in my book. I love refillable stuff because it's the sustainability for me. So of course I'm just massaging that into my skin. It feels really great. This will protect me from, um, of course, that sun, the UV rays, the UV, okay, all of it. So um, this really here is, yes, just so soothing because it is a moisturizer. So it makes me feel very moisturized, but it's also going to protect my skin from the um, natural environmental aggressors. So very awesome. Yes, yes, girl, you go, girl. So yeah, here I am, yep getting into them brows because um i do have uh i think i have a meeting today so i'm just getting myself prepared because i just always like to stay ready so i don't have to get ready so i am yes adding my little brow tint this is my brow mascara that i got from the beauty supply store i will try to find um the exact link below so that i can add it to you, um so you guys can find it but i just got it from my local beauty supply store and it just works wonders. It just does a little extra little, just a slight tint because for me, hey guys, FYI, I've never got my eyebrows done before. My mom never let me when I was younger and I guess like as I got older, it just wasn't a thing that I've done when I was younger. So I didn't do it when I got older. So I do though, I do fill in my eyebrows when I get the chance. So I use pencils. I use all types of things. And one thing I do notice that I love is this brow mascara. I try to do it in the camera, but um, that didn't work for me. So I just had to focus on doing it in the mirror. So yeah, but this thing is really absolutely amazing. It's like putting mascara on your eyelashes, but instead you are putting the mascara on your brows. So this is pretty, pretty awesome. It's pretty amazing. Um, Yeah, look at it. I'm just smoothing it all in. 
smoothing it all and it's just giving a little thickness you know yes and i'm taking my you see look just kind of smoothing it smoothing it smoothing it boom boom look at that ah uh, now you got a little darker tone eyebrows and yeah girl did it did that did that so now i'm going back in with my spruley <laughs> my mascara spruley and i'm just kind of blending in out blending out blending it out and blending it in so that it's not too aggressive so yeah yep giving you guys a smile of course and then now yes this is the one thing that is i think is i'm not even gonna butcher the name i am just gonna add the description below because i do not want to for you know the purposes of this video i am not gonna butcher it but this is my mask it is considered as a sleeping mask it is a berry flavor i think this is a standard flavor and let me tell you guys i do not only use this as a sleeping mask i use this like as an everyday regimen and it comes with the cutest 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 little brush i actually just recently found the brush and i bought this probably like a month ago and i found the brush in the box and i was like oh my god wait there's a brush so when you do get this product and especially as a full size product there is a brush inside so please do not throw out the box please look for that little brush because that brush is amazing it is a silicone brush a silicone lip brush and it really helps you to apply that and it feels so good it feels so smooth and this lip mask just smells so good. Like, I really wear this as a lip gloss, wake up mask, sleep mask, all that. Now, you know, y'all, Maybelline, Maybelline mascara. Okay, you girls, okay, if you know, you know. Girls who get it, get it. So, I like to, um, the, I live by a mascara. I just feel like one thing that's not going to go out of style is a mascara, honey. Um, I do not get my lashes done. I have tried to apply um false lashes on myself before and at times i do do it i do like the singles that um and one day i could actually do this on camera the singles how i apply my um false scara um i think that's what you call it, lash scara that's what it's called um i could show you guys one day how i do go about applying that but um on a typical day i just i already have like pretty lengthy lashes so i just use the maybelline mascara i don't only use um maybelline though i do use kat von d and um all the fenties i use better than sex um mascaras i've probably used a ton of them like at this point i've used it all and let me tell you something i do not regret buying out mascara okay i love me a good mascara i do i do i do like hell love orange soda honey i do i do i do but look at that one thing about the maybelline you can never go wrong i feel like i had to grab this for a last minute kind of thing and let me tell y'all it is what it is <laughs> i had to grab that maybelline because one thing you could go back to is your your starter points and maybelline always been the starter point for me and look at me look at me i'm showing it off that skin is glowing honey look i'm waving it again so that was it i'm blowing you guys kisses i'm giving you guys the business i'm smiling for you serving face yes so yeah i'm so happy you guys stayed all the way through for this and listen to me talk you look at me serving face for you honey i'm so excited and i am just ready to start my day honey okay i hope to see you guys again soon